up guys uh today's friday finally um it's been a, man, it's been a long week um i think me and uh me and dave are gonna go to the track today uh might be another friend or two out there uh i've got the nine inch installed i've got the wrong u-joint in it <laughs> so i gotta change that out before we go to the track so um probably go to it advanced auto parts after i get off work there and then um, grab a uh one of the u uh, u joint service tools um and then swap that out i gotta put a it's a 3r to a 1350 u joint right now i just have a 3r u joint which has like i think it's like a 16th or something too small which it's working fine now um i mean i'm not launching it or anything what's going on with this red light oh it's maxing out great anyway uh yeah, so I, I gotta change that out before I go. Um, I've got damn near a full bottle of nitrous, so I have never sprayed this car to track. I've only done a test hit or two on the street, and it wasn't even like a good one. It was like a third year little roll, and just to make sure it worked. So uh, I've got the Mallory box hooked up and everything. I don't think I'm gonna two step it today since I don't have any slicks. And it's got 411s on it too, so I'm probably just trying to ease out of it off the line again and see how it grips pretty good, but I'm not afraid to break it. It's not gonna break the rear end at least. So we're headed to work right now. Stuff to click off the 13. Let's do 
this.
around, so everybody's sitting here. So we'll just go make a little walk around real quick.
felt like it was spraying the whole time. Yeah, I don't think it was spraying the whole time. It only, I think it only trapped like 110. Oh, yeah, go ahead. 
good, good. Okay. Yeah, look at the other guy, dude. Yeah, I, I, I thought he was pointing at him. Yeah, he was pointing at the dude. Yeah, what are you pointing at me for, man? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna stay in this lane. I like this lane better. That's cool, man. That's a cool LT1 car. That says B4C on it. That's cool. Cool cop car. That's pretty cool. Oh, I've seen him run out here before. Yeah, I know that car. Yeah, that's cool. I think that. Seriously, uh, so this, it's not the end of the video yet if you haven't figured that one out yet. But uh, so I'm sitting there idling uh, at the track, uh, ready to go home. It's like you know, it's 10 10 50. We're kind of kind of just celebrating it, you know, it's sweet 1280. And uh, I start seeing smoke pour out right here. Under the hiss. I was like, oh, dang. So I look at my gauges and it's at pegged to 260 and i'm like oh I shut it off i'm like oh man my electric water pump took a crap no the fan stopped working so maybe that's what the check engine light was on for maybe the coolant temperature was probably broke so not a big deal it sprayed coolant all over the place so i just got home washed it off but i let it sit there at the track for uh, about 30 minutes or so and uh it cooled down pretty good so uh overall i'm <laughs> I'm thrilled that it ran a 1280. Like I really, really wanted to run 12s on a regular old street tire. Uh, I know it could be done. I just did it. Not even in the best weather. It's humid outside. It's like 1800 DA, like 1800 feet right now. It's, it's not even good air. So I'm very impressed with the high mileage LT1. Even, oh, I think I figured out the breaking up part too. I think it's actually the Mallory box rev limiter. I forgot that I had it on. 
And so I'm thinking I'm banging off the limiter at the top. And so I'm gonna have to probably raise it to 6,500, I think. I really don't wanna spin the motor that high. Um, uh, I think a 28 inch tall tire will work though, definitely. So we got, um, we got those right there, but they're, they're road racing slicks. They're not really, they're not meant for drag racing. So I bought them just for the wheels. I don't really want to run those wheels or those tires. I mean, uh, I don't, they're not going to do that good. Uh, the thing, the thing with uh, road racing tires though, is they, they like, they like to stay hot. They don't want to get hot and then cool down. Cause like when you're going on the track and they're cooling down, so they don't, they don't want to do that. They'll get slick. So I, uh, it's just not wise. So I'm gonna get rid of those, get a bias ply 28 and then go up, go back out there and then, uh, spray it i'm gonna I gotta figure that out too. i don't know what the heck is wrong with that thing i don't know why it's not spraying so i'm gonna redo the wiring on it and uh get back to it so not the best night but i drove it home so that's good it didn't break nine inch did pretty good little wheel hop not much but i mean hey it's a radial man i mean what do you what do you, what do you expect nothing crazy though but i mean that last run it ran so good <sighs> still in shock Got a 12 second cam only LT car on stock clutch too. Not it's stock style. Okay, whatever. Anyway, this is actually the end of it because it's, it's freaking late. I'm tired. I need to take a shower. Go to bed. See you guys.